This is silver, though it does not look like silver. And this is toothpaste, which does look like toothpaste. And it doesn't look like silver because it is tarnished. It is not rusted, it is tarnished. Unlike gold and platinum, silver tarnishes, darkening it and making it dull. And this happens when atmospheric sulfur gas reacts with the silver, forming silver sulfide crystals. And those silver sulfide crystals aren't nice and shiny. Rust, on the other hand, is what happens when iron reacts with oxygen in the atmosphere. So if your silver is rusting, there's a problem, because that means that your silver is made out of iron. Now you can buff off silver tarnish, though over time that will wear the detail of the silver away. So like a lot of museums, just try and make sure that the silver is not exposed to a lot of the atmosphere so that it doesn't tarnish very quickly because silver is like a tiny percentage of the atmosphere. But for the rest of us, what can we do to make sure our silver doesn't get all gross. Well, an analysis of silver polishing techniques found that a mechanical technique like buffing gave a nice finish, but uh, led to faster retarnishing later. Chemical methods like dipping it in an acid solution were fast, but left a yellow cast on the metal. Electrochemical methods were great for pure silver, but sterling silver, which is the most common kind for jewelry and silverware, took on a brownish tint. So while polishing isn't perfect, science says buffing your silver with a gentle abrasive like calcium carbonate is still the best way to go. And you know what else uses calcium carbonate as a way to polish something? Toothpaste, which uses it to polish your teeth. Look at this! Boom! Wild! It works!